Happy Sunday to you all, friendly farmers. I am Farmer Man. Welcome to Fellsbrunn. It is a dandy of a day here we're having. Dandy of a day. I am down on the uh, property here, checking out this local barn here at the woods shack. Um, trying to get the doors open, but they must have been seized shut. I have to bring some tools down here and get that done. It is a beautiful day here. I hope you are all enjoying your weekend. Hope your Sunday is treating you well. Um, I'll get you updated here with my hinder. There it is. I lost my Mahindra for a second. No, golf cart jockey did not take it. I, I found it. Um, this is what we got going on. Uh, David and I have been working hard on the farm. We have got all the plowing expansion done. Um, but we kind of ran into a little issue, and I'll explain that here in a little bit. But anyways, as you can see, this is field um, 19 here on the map where we are, just to the uh, west of the farm there. Uh, this is 19, so we kind of got that just a little bit broadened out a little bit. And then we did some work over here um, next to the horse paddock and the cows. So that is good to go there. Um, across the road, our other two fields, fields 21 and 22, they have been combined. A little bit of undulations in here might be tricky, but uh, we're going to be pretty good there. Got this taken care of all the way back to the road. So that looks pretty good. So this is almost ready to go. And, and then, uh, like I said, I'll explain it to you what the what my issue is. Um, cruising across the road here. We'll head over here to uh, 2122. Uh, we got them combined, and then we did broaden them out too a little bit. We did. Uh, we thought, hey, we had the land here. We might as well make use of it. So we got that done. Uh, we did some expansion off to the side there. We did some expansion. Uh, hey, birds, get out of the way. We did some expansion down to the uh, bottom half just a little bit, not too much. Yeah, I guess we did. We did. Here we can see the plow where we plowed it through. So we did that right there. They are combined together. Um, kind of went So this actually turned out to be a pretty darn big field. Holy cow. Um, yeah, so uh, kind of exciting here. Um, and then, of course, we went, um, now that I drive through here, this is actually much bigger than I was expecting. Um, but coming down here, then we kind of went around by the lake here. Yeah, it's okay. That's kind of nice. I like that. Yep, broaden that way out here. Look at that. Uh, it's more than I imagined. Uh, the other thing we did is we did plant some grass here. We made a little grass border. So when we come in here with the uh, the other cedar, we'll have to keep that in mind. So that's going to be grass when that grows. Um, grass growing. Uh, hey, look at that. Fertilized. Uh, no weeds. Awesome. No weeds in our grass. So that'll give us a little buffer strip between the field and the buildings here. But that's pretty good there. Now here's the dilemma that I have because uh, this was all weed, so we did do the cultivating, and now it tells me it needs some lime. Um, looking at the menu here for crying out loud. Uh, that just kind of irritates me just a little bit. Um, soil composition, see? Uh, where we have plowed, the new stuff we plowed needs lime, and then 22 needs lime. So we gotta get that done. So I kind of made arrangements, and here's what we're gonna try. Um, granted, I don't know much about this, and granted, uh, Gulf Kartaki and I were talking at uh, lunch today that uh, we haven't done any research on this. We haven't uh, viewed uh, uh, videos. We just wanted to do it for ourselves. So if you know, uh, and I do something wrong, please let me know. But I borrowed uh, Gulf Cart Jockey's Joskin loader here, Transpace. Um, we're going to head, what is a shiny trailer? He's got that nice and clean. Look at that. This, oh, I can't, I can't look at it no more. Uh, we're going to head down to the Lime Center, and we're going to give this a shot. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. But, um, hey, first times for everything, right? Live and learn. As Golf Cart Jockey so importantly explained in his video last time, education is expensive, so you got to learn. Um, so we'll head down there to the Lime Center. Who knew we had a Lime Center? And we're going to try to fill this up. And I don't know if it works or not, but we'll give it a shot. Um, we're going to compare that to the prices of the, uh, the bags that uh, Big Papa C sells at the uh, dealership. So we'll have to check that out. And then what we got to do is we got to spread lime on 22 and that new part. And then, of course, then we have to go back and we have to cultivate that in. So it's a lot of extra work that I wish I would have known about um, beforehand because then I would have just spread lime and then cultivated it once and be done with it. Um, so I'm a little, little irritated by that, but uh, we can make do. We can make do. Um, after that, after we get the lime spread and get the uh, cultivation done again, then we can uh, start our planting process. I think we're going to do soybeans on the one and canola on the other. 
I think that's kind of the plan. Um, as far as field expansion goes, I'm still pondering that, still checking out prices. Because uh, keep in mind, we do have to uh, buy a few pieces of equipment to accomplish this. Uh, golf cart jockey does have that fine and outstanding spreader. But, uh, you know, I'm thinking it's just it's hard to get up there and back. So I might just buy one. I'm going to need one anyways. Uh, I might just buy one. And then on top of that, for the cows, I would eventually need to get a straw blower. I will need to get a uh, mixture of wagon, a uh, aqua trans kind of thing to get set up for cows. And then on top of that, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about buying a horse. I want to buy a horse. 5000 bucks they can, you can buy a horse. And I think that'll be pretty neat. So, yeah, lots to do today. We'll see how far we get that. I don't know. Um, but first things first, that would be lime. Now, I drove down here earlier in the Mahindra, and I kind of scoped things out. And as far as I am aware, um, biogas plant, lime station's up here farther. There we go. Um, I, I should just be able to fill this thing up with lime. Uh, ex how expensive it is, that I couldn't tell you. But <laughs> we'll find out here together. Let's see. I think we can just pull in here. Um, Put the mini map on here so I can see. Lime Center says that it's up here. I can't imagine that you'd be able to sell lime. I'm assuming that uh, it's going to be a purchase of a lime sort of thing. Um, so I don't know if this is it right here. This little container right here. Kind of maybe. I don't know. Perhaps. There's no triggers or anything. Um, I'm clicking on something. Nothing happens. Um, what's this? That thing? There's a scale here. I know that. Um, this little thing here. Oh, hey, look at that. Lime station. Select the silo whose content you want to load into your vehicle. Well, that's a lime station. The only option I got is lime. Duh. Hey, look at that. I'm feeling lime. Um, and it's not charging me anything. Why is it not charging me anything? And why is the timer on? There's like a timer. Or is that the time? 15 to 11? I never noticed that clock like that before. Huh, I guess we're, I, I never noticed that before. It's not a timer. It's a clock. But I'm filling up lime and it's not charging me. Why is that? Why is that? Now, I, I, maybe I'm doing something wrong here. I don't know. Um, but anyways, it's filling up with lime. So I'm going to go with it. I am going to go with it. Uh, yeah. One. 15, 11... But I, I never, I never really looked at the heads-up display because half the time I can't see it in the sky. Um, hmm, interesting. The other, the other interesting thing is my fuel in the tractor has uh, gone that low, and it hasn't changed. So the, th the, the thought is, is that when your fuel gets that low, it just, it just keeps running. So I'm doing an experiment with that too. Um, we'll give that a shot. Holy buckets! That's a lot of lime, and it hasn't charged me one cent yet. Um, hmm. Like I said, I don't know. This is the first for me, so um, I would appreciate any any insight, thoughts into this. Um, if you know the uh, the answer to that, that would be that'd be much obliged. Um, that clock just says three twelve. Yeah, three twelve. Um, yeah. Hmm. La da dee, la da da. You know what I'm thinking about doing? I'm thinking about buying Golf Cart Jockey a present. I want to buy Golf Cart Jockey a present today, and I want to deliver it to his house. Um, I think that would be a fine and outstanding idea. Um, I feel bad for accusing him of stealing my Hendry yesterday. But, um, so what? Maybe, okay. Look at that. I got 31,000 liters of lime, uh, and it hasn't charged me a cent. That is interesting. I could be doing something completely wrong. I mean, I, you could, this could cost me a fortune here in a second. But uh, so far, um, has not cost me a cent. But we'll um, head back to the farm. Now the question is, how do I get this into the lime spreader? I, I was assuming that maybe I could unload it into pallets. Uh, that could be an option. 
or I could load it directly into the uh, spreader. Uh, the other question is that that, that uh, fertilizer spreader, you know, you can get it in the uh, six meter discs. I wonder if there's a difference in that. Um, so I'm gonna ch I might check that out too as well. Um, kind of an exploration day, uh, so to speak. Checking things out, but that's interesting. I got all this lime and I haven't paid a cent for it. So, hmm, we'll have to go with it. But I'll tell you what, I'll see you back at the farm. Um, then I got to head down to the shop and we got to uh, look at a spreader. I might have to call our good buddy Jeff down at the bank and say, hey man, I need a little extra cash because I got to buy a uh, spreader. And I don't think I have enough money to do that. Did I make a wrong? No, I'm at the right road. Um, so we'll go from there. But I'll see you back at the farm here in uh, just a jiffy. Not too bad of a trip if I can stay in the right lane. Um, we'll pull into the yard here. We'll pull uh, right in here. Now, the question that I have for you is sometimes I've been having trouble with it that I am unable to disconnect from a full trailer. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, I can unhook that. Okay. We can unhook that. Now let's head down to the store and we will first of all, get a, uh, lime spreader, a fertilizer spreader, same thing. And then we will come back there and see if we can fill it up from that trailer or not. And then see what we can do with, uh, unloading that trailer. I, I, I keep looking up at my money thinking it's got to go down. It's got to go down. It's got to go down. And it hasn't done anything yet. Um, so that's good stuff. Hey, there's golf cart jockeys here. What is he doing? Oh, he's got the, uh, he's got the, uh, Mahindra there. He is, uh, doing something. How you doing, buddy? Oh boy. Look, where did he go? I thought he was just, he even be stuck around the corner so fast. Man, that guy is fast. Um, let's see. Here's what we got. Uh, if I go into trailers, we got the uh, fertilizer technology. We got this puppy here, the one that uh, golf cart jockey bought. This uh, this one right here. Fertilizer spreaders improve the hardest to use. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Um, now, here's the question that I have is um, extension small, none. Might as well go big extension, go big or go home. Uh, this spreading disc, or no, narrow tires, no, it's standard. Spreading disc, the six meter spreading unit. Extra 8,000 bucks. And I'm wondering, what is there any advantage to that, or wider width, or whatever? I don't know. Um, lease for thirty-eight twenty. You know what? Maybe I should just lease it instead of buying one. Golf cart jockey's got one. Maybe I should just lease it and give it a shot and see how it goes. And then down the road, I you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna lease that. Then I don't have to talk to Jeff at the bank and beg for money. Uh, so this here we go. This is what it is. I'm kind of interested to try it out because I kind of like it. Um. So we'll get back in here to the 7230, and then we'll uh, hook up to that, and we will head, we will head to the farm there next to that trailer full of lime, and we will see if we can load it up or not. If not, then we got to see if we can unload that trailer or not. Um, that'll work. Come on there, uh, Bradle. We're taking you to the farm. Off to the farm we go. Off to the farm we go. Um... Have I mentioned what a beautiful day it is? See, these are the two fields. It's hillside farming that I'm thinking about. But uh, it was kind of scary. I was in there with the uh, tractor in the Mahindra uh, looking around, and I got a little scary because the tractor flipped over, and so did the Mahindra. So I don't think if hillside farming is right up my alley. But um, we'll go for it. We will go with it. So let's see. Let's pull into the farm here. I'm going to unload. I'm going to open that up. Now, the question is, is this going to fill up or not? No, it won't. Um, that will not fill up from that trailer. I wasn't expecting it to. Uh, maybe an auger wagon would have worked better. Um, that I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter if I go on the other side here or not. Okay, that's not working. So now, the next thing to try. Uh, let's just unhook that. And then let's uh, hook back up to this and see if we can unload this or not. Um, otherwise, I've got a trailer full of lime here with I, with I don't know what to do with, is the problem. Um, that's the, see? Nothing's working. See? 
Nothing's working. So now I don't know what to do. What do I do with this 31,000 liter, <laughs> liters full of lime that I have no idea what to do with? Um, hey, oh, no, I can't tip it out in my parking lot. Oh, well, maybe you can. Okay, so I can tip it out in my parking lot. Then do I need to get a conveyor and conveyor it into my, um, my spreader? Is that what I would have to do? Or bucket in there? Um, I was hoping that it would come up pallets, but I suppose that only works with, um, well, it works with the spreaders, maybe spreaders and planters and stuff. So now I would need to get a conveyor system of some sort to uh, conveyor that into my um, burrito. Because the thing of it is, I have to spread 21 plus what you plowed. So I'm going to go through a lot of lime. I mean, there's no question about that. I'm going to go through a lot of lime. And in the, you know, my neck of the woods, when they spread lime on fields, they dump it, like, at the corner of the field and then use a uh, bucket and just fill up the uh, spreaders. So it's kind of like that, I would guess. So let me go back to the store. I'm going to lease some conveyors. We'll give that a shot. And uh, we will uh, go from there. All right. We are liming away, man. Uh, it's working. I got the two belts set up into the uh, spreader. I am in the uh, trailer here uh, dumping, dumping the line when I need it. Um, but look at that. It's working. It is working. The thing I'm worried about is how come I didn't get charged for the line? <laughs> for the line is what I am um, a little perplexed about. Um, but we will just have to kind of go with it. Maybe at midnight I get charged or uh, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, we will just have to uh, wait and see what happens. But, uh, ah, we'll all see. Uh, we'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wait and see. Matter of fact, as I'm sitting here, uh, I'm reading my phone as I'm unloading this. Uh, Golf Cart Jockey just sent me a message. Did you just fill up a tank? <laughs> I lost 6900 bucks quick. Uh, and, I, and now that I think about it, it's his trailer that I filled up. So he was charged 6900 bucks. Uh, so that's why I did. That's why I didn't uh, get charged because it's his trailer. So he got the bill at the uh, at the plant. Um, so um, we will <laughs> we will have to pay. We'll have to send golf cart jockey 6900 bucks. But that may, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> that answers the question. I didn't think about it because it, I borrowed his trailer. So maybe when you go across the scale at the uh, Lime Center, they read the uh, license plate or the decal off the uh, the trailer and charge that person. So, yeah, that's interesting. But we're ready to go. We're going to go spread some lime. I'm going to send Golf Cart Jockey a quick text message and um, tell him that, yes. So I will have to transfer him the money. But uh, then we'll get, our, we'll get this lime spreading on, and we'll see how it goes. All right, transfer the money over to Golf Cart Jockey, 6,900 bucks. Now, what we got to do is we just have to spread where we um, where we plowed here. And I'm kind of interested to see how this thing is going to work with these uh, breed all spreaders here. So um, I wonder how far apart I way I need to be. This is all kind of new to me here. Uh, we'll just turn it on there. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Oh, we're spreading. We are spreading some lime. Uh, I, think it's a, I think that's a wider path, isn't it? I think so than, than, than regular. Uh, that's kind of nice. I'm getting some on the road there, but that's okay. Um, hey, we're spreading some lime here. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, we don't need to do where we already... Um, matter of fact, it just... Why isn't it working over there? Oh, we already did that. So it actually is only uh, soaking up then where we needed to do. Um, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. That kind of makes sense. Um... Look at that. Nice, powdery, white substance we are applying on our fields to change the pH of our soil. Interesting stuff. I kind of like the lime spreading aspect of it. I really do. I think it's kind of cool. Look at the little dust flies, too, you know. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I don't know about this. I, I kind of I like the little wings out there. That kind of looks cool. Um, I like that. I think we have to get this little spot here where we extended the field because everywhere that we uh, created fields uh, needs lime application. It's interesting how it doesn't, um, you know, uh, even though you're spreading on the field, if it doesn't need lime, it doesn't uh, doesn't take it. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, oh, didn't want to get in the grass there. Uh, oh, don't want to get close, close to the horse paddock. That's not good. Um, 
get this here. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this little bit here. This is pretty simple. Um, and then fill up again. And then I'm going to head over to field 22, 21, 22. I'm going to do a round where I need to do because we created the fields. And then once I get the, everything um, kind of spread out there to say, and then I think and I will um, have David come out and he can finish that up. And then that'll leave us to um, possibly consider some equipment and um, cows and horses and golf cart jockeys present and uh, what have you. So, yeah, so I think that'll work out pretty good. Um, other than that, and then we got to get the cultivation going again because then we got we to gotta cultivate this lime in. I know that. And then... Um, and then we have to um, get it seeded. This will be canola, uh, 21, 22, that field there, that, that, that will be soybeans. So did I miss a spot there? Yeah, so I gotta get that little bit there. Um, then we can, get, we can get some planted on, get some planting going. Uh, I have that three meter planter that we bought and I know it's gonna take me a while, but I think I'm just gonna stick with it at the time being. I think I'm gonna stick with it until we get through the first harvest. Um, and then I was looking down the list of, uh, contracting work to be done and maybe I'll start doing some contracting work with the combine and then we can, uh, get some money income that way and, um, we'll be good to go. We will be good to go. Uh, open the cover there. I'm going to pull under here. I'm going to fill this up again and then we'll head across to the, uh, across the road and we can get that done there. And then, um. Dave can come out and, ooh, careful. If I have enough, yeah, see, I should, um, let's see, I'm going to move this con this conveyor back here just a little bit. Um, that'll pick up, that'll pick up right here. So we can do that. I, I get out in the wrong way there and I get like, where the heck did I go, man? Uh, hop into here and uh, do that. There we go. Let me just extend that out a little bit. That should be suffice to um, get in there. There it goes. Perfect. Um, we'll just uh, see how much if that fills it or not. Uh, golf cart jockey text me back. I thought my pocket had a hole in it. It was moving so fast. Yeah, I bet that, I bet that gave him a little bit of a shock when he gets the notification on his phone that he just spent sixty nine hundred bucks just like that and had no idea where it came from. Um, that was, you know what? We should just borrow his trailer next time, too. Uh, we don't pay for it. He has to pay for it. Ha ha. Um, oh, that's not quite full. I might as well fill the darn thing. Um, oh crap, I need my tractor. Uh, here's my tractor. Boy, I move around too fast. I ate, I ate my Cheerios this morning with my Butterfinger and my Mountain Dew. We'll, um, unload some more. We'll get that full, and then we'll go spread some more. And then uh, get David to come out, and we're in good shape. We are in good shape. I feel kind of, I feel kind of behind the eight ball a little bit because we even haven't even got anything in our in our in our um, fields yet. But we've been busy doing other stuff. I mean, it's 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 tough getting here, getting things set up. But uh, we'll make a go of it. We will make a go of it. David is going to take off on the uh, spreader. He is going to get going on that. That is absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. It's working pretty good. Yeah, it goes through. It goes through in a hurry, man. It really does. Uh, I'll be have to be hauling more line here. David can do that too. But that is good. So that is going. We got a lot of field to do left. Holy buckets. We got a lot of field to do. Is that golf cart jockey there? Oh, nope. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, we got that taken care of. And that looks good. That's all set to go. We're still, <laughs> you know, we still haven't got anything planted on the ground yet. I tell you what, it really is something. It, it seems like it takes you a lot of work uh to get uh, your fields harvested it really does um a lot a lot of work now i suppose what i could do is i could um i could hook up that to the uh, cultivator and i could go do the cultivation real quick but um you know what i'm gonna do i i gotta i gotta do something nice for golf cart jockey i really do uh dave is gonna do some lime spread and we're okay there I'm going to head down to the store, talk to Big Papa C. I am going to personally, I'm uh, personally, out of my own money, uh, we'll s Jeepers, stay, oh, that's two fence posts. Uh, actually, at least get 10 points apiece. 
Um, holy bucket, I almost died in the Mahindra. Uh, Dr. B. Papa C, out of my own money, my own personal account, I think I'm going to get uh, golf cart jockey a jalopy. So, uh, hey, he's got a bucket here. I'm going to go in and talk to Big Papa C, and uh, we'll be on our way here shortly. Hey, we'll head up to Golf Cart Jackie's place. Hopefully he's not coming down here. I'll miss him. But uh, give me one second. A quick conversation, and we should be good to go. Here it is. They had it out back. I, I saw my eye on it the other day. I found it. Um, let's go give Golf Cart Jackie. Look at that. Tailgate works. Awesome. I love it. He'll be he'll be thrilled. He will be happy. Um, I am so looking forward to this. Um, ever since we got got here, when 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 the Kukura, the Kukuracha pickup broke down, coming here, um, he has been a little bit sad, a little bit depressed. Um, and I, I need to cheer him up. I need to cheer him up because I think he really liked that little Kukuracha pickup. So I found one just like it, man. Matter of fact, it could actually even be the same one fixed up. I don't know. I, yeah, maybe, maybe. You know what? Now I'm thinking about it. How many little Kukuracha pickups are there in the world? Uh, can't be that many. But we're going to drive to his house, and we are going to deliver this puppy right to him. We're going to drive right in there, right through his field, wherever he is, and we are going to bring it to him. Yes, indeed we are. And then we're going to drop it off, and we are going to run and jump away and uh, say, here you go, buddy, just for you, my friend. Just for you. Hopefully, we're, hopefully we are not uh, seeing him on the way down. I want to get in there and, and, and get him. And, and, and so he knows what's going on here. This will be fun. This will be fun. This thing cruises, man. Holy bucket, this thing cruises. 51. Whoa, holy buckets. I almost wrecked it. Well, I was going 51. Now I went 26. Uh, come on. Come on. Keep going, buddy. Up the hill. This thing's a... Yep, you just have to... Like, yep. Yep, that's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Come on, La Cucaracha. I should have had that. I should have had that painted on here. Uh, Jockey's La Cucaracha pickup. Something like that. The mountain man up here. The grass mountain man. Way up in the booties. Way up in the hills. Oh, we missed him. We missed him. Ah, oh, bummer. That kind of ruins it. I'm a little late. Tell you what we'll do. We'll just, um... We'll just pull in his yard and we'll leave it there for him, I suppose. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping to catch him. I was hoping to catch him, but... That's okay. That's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Let's see. We'll just... Uh, where should we leave it? Where should we leave it? Uh, right up by his house? Should we leave it right up by his house? Uh, tell you what. We'll put it in the garage. Will he see it in his garage? He, probably, he might not see it in his garage. Uh, maybe in the parking lot. In the parking lot, he can find it. He can find it right here in the parking lot. Um, yeah. Oh, there's his Mahindra. You think he used it? Ooh, oh, I almost scratched it. I almost scratched it. Let's see. Well, I'm trying to find a good spot to put it. Uh, that he's going to see it. You know what? I think right here. We'll just put it right up right here. Um, you know what? Better, better yet. Let's just put it right up here. Let's just put it right up here. We'll park it right up here. There you go, buddy. Oh. The pickup can levitate there a little bit. That's awesome. Um, nice. Okay. There you go, go kart jockey. La Cucaracha is all yours, my friend. Uh, happy birthday, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Easter, uh, Valentine's Day. You betcha. You betcha, buddy. Uh, okay, I gotta get back to work. I gotta get back to work. Enough screwing around. Um, hey, look at that. Go Kart Jackie's got eggs. He's got a box of eggs there, man. Should I take his eggs? Should I go hide his eggs? That'd be mean, though. But I bought him a pickup truck. I bought him a pickup truck. Let's go hide his eggs. Let's see. Where should we put them? Let's, uh... Should I throw them there and break them? No, that'd be mean. Um... Where should I put his eggs? 
Let's see. I can hide his eggs. You know what? I'm gonna go put his eggs in his house for him. That would that would be doing him a favor then. I could go put him in his house. I'm gonna go put him in his house. Boy, I'm holding on to this box and run at the same time. I'm I'm pretty good. Um come on, a box of eggs. Let's see. Um Can I get in here? Come on, don't drop box. Don't drop. Easy eggs. Easy eggs. Let's see. Let's just set him right here. Ooh. Kind of disappear there. Oh, they fell through the cabinet. That's not a very good cabinet you got in your house, golf cart jockey here. Here, we'll just put them right there on the floor. There you go. I brought your eggs in for you, buddy. Okay, now I'm going to get the heck out of here before I get caught. Where's the door? There's the door. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Back to my farm, and um, we'll be there just a little bit. We've got one slight problem. One slight problem. Hey, golf cart jockey. How you doing, buddy? Um, David came here to fill up the, uh, <laughs> the seed tender again, or not the seed tender for crying out loud, the, uh, lime spreader, and I got into the tractor here, and it ran out of fuel. It has run out of fuel, so that's not good. So, um, hmm, you know what? You should never run a fuel on a tractor either, because, uh, it's, so it could be very difficult to get started again. You gotta prime it, um... Most of the time, the newer tractors, you can just turn the key over and run the fuel pump a lot. But, um, yeah, that's not good. Um, anyways, you know what? Should I go back? And, no, I'm going to leave his eggs right there. Now, now it's starting to bother me again. Um, but I don't have any kind of a fuel station here on the farm. So I need to go down to the store, see Big Papa C again, and uh, find myself a uh, fuel bowser of sort. Hey! Oh, speaking of dogs. Yes. Um, I have decided that... Uh, puppy... Hi, puppy. Your name is going to be Bacon. Hi, Bacon. Are you hungry, Bacon? Here, have some food, Bacon. Have some bacon, Bacon. There you go. Um, and those who said Bacon in the comment for that video, um, I will email you, and we can figure out something here in the near future for uh, what would be uh, sufficient uh, for all three of you. But thank you very much. Appreciate that. Hey, there you go, Kartaki. How you doing, buddy? Good job. Thanks for the bales, man. Uh, look at that. That is a fine and outstanding stack of grass bales. Um, well done. Well done, golf cart jockey. Well done. Um, you know what? Uh, I saw that earlier that the bale limit has been has been reached. Um, uh, maybe grass over here next to grass? I don't know. Um, but so maybe I have too many bales. Maybe I should get rid of some straw bales. I'll have to talk to golf cart jockey about that. That, uh, but I don't think he's keeping any bales, though. He's just selling bales. But, uh, hey, thanks, buddy. Look at that. Heck of a nice guy. Anyways, back to my project. Uh, bacon the dog. Yep, we'll get that taken care of. Uh, oh, fuel. I can get some fuel. Bye, bacon. Hey, cement truck. There he goes. Man, that guy's on a mission. He is on a, he works hard. I wonder if he sleeps. I think he, he works very hard. He works very, very hard. Anyways, fuel, fuel tank. Um, I could probably message him, too, as well. <laughs> Look at that guy. He doesn't care about driveways. No, that guy doesn't need no stinking driveways. Um, anyways, uh, let's see here. I got to go in and see the store here uh, as he gets his bucket. Let's see, fuel bowsers. Uh, fuel bowsers. That would be under miscellaneous. There it is. Fuel tank. I gotta buy one. Uh, main color. Main color. Main color. Fuel is usually red. Fuel is usually red. Uh, we'll go with red. There we go. Uh, we'll buy that. Yep. Maybe golf cart jockey will get the feeling that my tractor <laughs> ran out of fuel. And if he needs to borrow it, he can. Um, how's that guy got? He got a bucket. Oh, he's got chicken. He probably needs to get his chicken cleaned up. Here, I'll get my fuel balls out of your way, buddy. Uh, they don't need to deliver it that close to you. Hey, there you go. Uh, I'll go first because because you are all over the road, and I need to I need to get there in a hurry. Let's see fuel station. I know there's one. I know there's one up this way towards Jackie's house, so we'll go up this way. Um, my tractor ran out of fuel, so we'll get them fuel in this thing. Get back, get the tractor started, and then uh, continue on with the lime spreading. But we have a long way to go with the uh, lime 
spreading, that is for sure. Um, go kart jockey behind me. Ah, there he is. There he is. I, I bet his tracker is faster than mine, but but the but he's got that uh, bill auto loader thingy on there, so I'm probably faster than him. Um, I might as well fill up this tracker too, as well, and then I'll fill this up. And oops, stay on the road, and and fill the Bowser up as well. That might work. That might work. Let's see, gas station, fuel station, right up here. Spent a lot of money today. I am spending a lot of money today. That is for sure. Okay. Let's see. Filling up something. We are filling up something. Ooh. Why does that go-kart jockey go by? Camera! I hate that thing. Man, I hate that thing. Uh, hey, there's go-kart jockey. Hi, buddy! Hey, look at that! What a guy gets out of his, gets out of his tractor on the road and jumps up and down. Absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Um, see, you later, see you later, buddy. Uh, have a good one. I'm stuck on the gas pump. Uh, see, see, see you later, buddy. Hope you enjoy the jalopy, the uh, Lakukaracha jalopy. Um, we're still feeling here, but I'm gonna get this filled up, get back to the farm, and we'll get that tractor filled up, and uh, back to lime pretty. You know what? It's been an expensive day, and it feels like I haven't done anything yet. Look at that. That was some expensive fuel, I tell you. Holy buckets. Uh, I'm down to 9560 bucks. I'm going to have to call Jeff, no matter what. Um, <laughs> I don't even have enough money to buy more lime, for crying out loud. Um, those are finished just go-kart jockey straight that just goes off his account. Um, that I didn't mean, though. I already stole his eggs. But I brought him a pickup truck. I gave him a pickup truck. But, um, let's see, let's see, we gotta, oh yeah, that's a nice little cut to the farm. I thought I would take that road. That's an outstanding road. I'm a big fan of that road. Um, yeah, so I'll get this tractor filled up. David can get back to his business of spreading lime. I gotta figure out where to put this fuel, Bowser. It would be a good place to, um, to put this. I don't want go-kart jockey to come down here and steal all my fuel. Um... Uh, Let's see. Oh, stuck in the tractor. Stuck. Oh, I'm on top of the tractor. Awesome. Um, are you feeling? Fuel. 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 Whoops. You were feeling. Fuel. There you go. Now we're feeling. Um, get this tractor filled up. Look at that. We got a full. We got a full tank of fuel. Perfect. We can drop that off. Um, we'll get that hooked up to the spreader, Dave, and come back. He can continue spreading the lime. Uh, in the meantime, I don't have that other, that 6, 6M is not going to pull this thing. That, or that, um, that Joskin trailer up the, um, <laughs> God. Uh, look at that. Um, I thought I disconnected from the trailer. Uh, pay more attention, farmer man, when you're driving, when you're driving equipment here. Um, I don't think that 6M is going to pull that trailer up the, uh, up the hill back full so we'll just have to keep doing this um there you go all right david you're set to go close the tarp he was set to go again um let's see i suppose i can just go get the cultivator hooked up but um ah, i don't want to do that we don't have cultivating so maybe we'll do that i'll do that i'll do that later and then we can start a fresh um next time i think that's a good plan i think that's a good plan uh, we've been busy today. So we learned a little bit about lime. We uh, got go-kart jockey's chicken eggs. We gave him a pickup truck. We got a fuel bowser. We got some fuel. Um, we're good to go. David's spreading lime. Uh, we'll get that cultivated. We've got uh, grass pails delivered. That is absolutely outstanding. So I got to talk to Jeff. I got to talk to Jeff and get things sorted out. That's for sure. Um, because we need to get some cows on the farm. I want to get a horse. I want to get a horse. I really do. I have a real inkling to get a horse. Um, now the question is, where's a good place to park this fuel tank? Mm, you know what? I think in the meantime, I will just uh, put it. I will just put it right here in this little grass patch here. Yeah, right here. This this will be fine. 
tractors can come and fill up if they need to. Um, I can get it. Detaching tool is not allowed in this state. Oh, for crying out loud. You mean I have to empty the fuel tank to be able to unhook it? That is, that is crazy. That, what am I going to do? Haul the fuel tank around with me every time I go? How am I going to get a cultivator on there? That is nuts. There's got to be a reason for that. Um, anyways, but we'll leave it there. Um, I got a, I got a mess to fix up here and get things organized, but that's okay. Um, not, not bad. But anyways, I want to remind you, uh, Golf Cart Jockey and I are doing this collaboratively. We are on the same map on the farm management system, so he is running his own farm uh, concurrently with me. Everything is separate. Um, and if you have not yet subscribed, please go over to Golf Cart Jockey. Um, he is putting out a video every day, just like I am on this map. Uh, usually mine goes out at 9, his goes out at 10. So you can watch them both from each perspective, and it's, it's really, really cool. We're really enjoying it. Um, because I have to watch, of course, and I want to watch because his videos are awesome. But to be able to see what he did as I'm doing it. So it's a pretty cool concept, and we are enjoying it very much. Um, but please, go check that out. Otherwise, uh, thank you very much for watching. You all have a great Sunday. Um, enjoy uh, Sunday football. Enjoy uh, the day. Get rested for the week. Um, we sincerely appreciate you guys all tuning in and watching. Uh, very thankful for that. But anyways, um, yeah. From Frillsman, uh, Farmer Midtown, you have yourself a great day and keep them through the ditches. So long.